Welcome back to the PP Zone. This is your host, Mike. In this video, we'll talk about some of the best tactical lever action rifles that you can buy today. But first, let's discuss a bit about what tactical means. Relative to guns and other military equipment, something can be considered tactical if it has features designed to give its user the unfair advantage needed to win most kinds of gunfights imaginable, planned or otherwise. But this is assuming that the user knows how to utilize such features. What this means is, all the tactical rifles, weapons, and gear in the world are useless if the user is clueless, untrained, and incompetent. In short, it is not only the gun, but also the user that makes a firearm model tactical. A lever action rifle, on the other hand, has a manually operated handle known as the loop, which cocks the rifle, feeds and extracts cartridges into and out of the chamber, and cock the firing pin mechanism. It is capable of rapid firing, but is definitely not automatic nor semi-automatic. The tactical lever gun is generally a modernized carbine which offers more utility. As we said, it only becomes tactical in the hands of a knowledgeable and competent user. A typical tactical lever rifle will normally have accessory mounting features like Picatinny rails and M-lock slots for the addition of modern optics, lasers and flashlights, a threaded muzzle which makes the rifle suppressor ready, and sights such as a ghost ring aperture that allows for a quick target acquisition. Additionally, accessory manufacturers offer a ton of upgrade options with which the rifle can be customized according to the owner's preferences. The lever action system still remains to be the most versatile and fastest available, and these lever action features enhance the rifle's performance and popularity. Here, we count down the 6 best tactical lever action rifles according to price, from cheapest to priciest. Number 6. Rossi Polymer Rio Bravo 22LR with an MSRP of $338, anyone can use this Rossi. The polymer stock Rio is snappy and sensitive, and like most 22 lrs it's so enjoyable because it is just simply fun to use. Beyond that, it has a lot of advantages that make it a viable alternative for a home defense weapon. Not to mention that almost everyone in the family can use it efficiently. One notable feature is its powerful round tubular magazine. This 5-pound rifle can handle any situation, a home invasion included. It has six M-lock slots on the front of the four, with three on each side. Whichever hand is used, they are positioned perfectly towards the top in the right place for optics. The sights are fiber optic three dot, green in the back and red up front. Easy to be familiar with, they are visible under most lighting situations. Both sights are fully adjustable for windage and elevation with big tactile knobs. The only issue with the muzzle is it is not threaded and there is no optics mount. If Rossi includes these features, they'd truly have the best gun ever. Number 5. Mossberg 464 SPX 3030 Winchester Mossberg's decade-old 464 SPX at its 16.25-inch barrel chambered in 3030 Winchester helped define the style of firearms that continues to be relevant even to this day. The 6-position M4 style stock is handy and makes the rifle fit for several applications. The modified buffer tube system enhances the grip. Although its sweep is shallower than a pistol's, you can still get your entire hand around it for maximum control. With an MSRP of $806, the SPX comes with accessory attachment points, ideal for adding lights and optics, and a bipod as well, with Picatinny rail lengths at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions. Mossberg augments the 6 plus 1 capacity rifle with an A2 flash hider which has utility for a suppressor. Its top ejector may hamper optics, but installing tall rings to the drilled and tapped receiver should avoid any stoppages. Number 4. Rossi R92 Triple Black 357 Magnum The Triple Black is a pistol caliber option that is quite affordable. Like its predecessor, the Rio, the R92 Triple Black is a solid option. This rugged Winchester 92 clone offers good quality at a reasonable cost. And the nice thing about it is, almost anyone can use it. With an $850 MSRP, the Triple Black comes with some great upgrades at the same time keeping the rifle grounded to the original in several ways. The rifle comes with options for 357 or 44 Magnum, though most shooters attest that they do better with the 357. A great aspect of the rifle is its integrated Picatinny rail and rear sighting system. The rear peep has a relatively large aperture in conjunction with a large blade up front, making it quite flexible to use. This rifle's great advantage is its rail and the 1x optic or multi-powered scope, which are both apt for its 16.5-inch barrel. It's designed with a top ejection port, which is another useful feature. 
The 8 plus 1 round capacity pistol caliber triple black is threaded for easy suppressor attachment and it comes with a factory installed knurled thread protector. The only drawback with it is it doesn't have any accessory attachment points which somehow leave it a little wanting if it is to be used for home defense. The rifle's grip and loop leave something to be desired. Rossi put the same 92 hardwood stock design on the triple black and made the lever loop a little larger, which gives it a pleasant appearance. Number 3. Marlin Dark Series, 1894 Sturm, Ruger and Company bought Marlin in 2022 from Remington and is set to improve on the 1894 with a new model, the 1985. But it was Marlin's Dark Series that started the tactical lever gun trend. This line includes their models 336, 1895, and 1894. Of these, the 1894 chambered in 357 Magnum is a multi-purpose carbine useful for hunting, shooting, defense, and survival. With an MSRP of $940, Marlin Dark Series 1894 has a forged receiver and a side ejection system to run in any condition. Marlin improved on the 1894's 8 plus 1 capacity with the XS Sights lever rail, an excellent optics mounting system. It's very slick. The Picatinny rail has a built-in rear aperture ghost ring that works with a ramp front sight. Not only does 1894 get on target, but it's a lightning fast and fitting aiming solution on the 16.25 inch threaded barrel. The 1894 does not have any accessory attachment points, but that could be easily added after purchase. Number 2. Henry, Model X Big Boy, 45 Colt. Henry has added a side loading gate to all its guns, making Henry's pistol caliber carbine Big Boy 45 Colt the most successful in its polymer stock Model X line. This rifle is light and responsive and is reliable all the time. With its MSRP of $975, the Henry Big Boy is available in 44 Special 44 Magnum, giving it plenty of hitting power and versatility in use. The threaded 17.4-inch barrel also has a polymer forend, improving its utility. The Picatinny rail is below the forend, and the M-Lock slots are just above the rail. It has a pistol-style grip, though the original had a straight grip, but the Henry Model X Big Boy has a pistol-style grip, which adds control. It has a side-loading gate for fast reloads and a 7 plus 1 round capacity, which is enough for most situations. Adding an optic rail after purchase will make the Big Boy perfect. Henry also offers 4570 and 3030 options depending on your need. Number 1. Taylor and Company, 1892, Alaskan Black Takedown, 44 Magnum. As its name says, the Taylor and Company 1892 Alaskan is a takedown rifle, which means the long gun is more accessible to you when you're away from home, whether it's stowed in your pickup or your backpack. With an MSRP of $1,636, the Alaskan 357 Magnum 38 Special version may be preferable to some, while others find the 44 Magnum 44 Special more suitable. With either cartridge, the Alaskan breaks down to a tidy 17-inch, 6-pound package and is never much of a burden. That is an unexpected yet pleasant surprise, considering the rifle's hefty octagon barrel and woodstock with rubber over molding. This gun could have used polymer furniture to reduce its weight by a few ounces, yet somehow, even with its present weight, this particular rifle feels better with a little bit more mass. It ejects used cases out the top like a Winchester 92. Although it is not the ideal system to run optics on, its design offsets the small disadvantage by advancing the Weber-style optics rail in scout rifle fashion. The Skinner adjustable rear peep with an adequately sized aperture which acts like a ghost ring and the back half of the iron sight system are likewise mounted on the rail. It is quick to the target in a moment and more than capable of holding on to a long range shot thanks to the addition of a brilliant red fiber optic front. The lever loop appears larger than in other rifles but this poses no problem running through the second round tubular magazine in a flash. Overall, the Alaskan works as a great tactical option, again, for the knowledgeable and competent. And that's it for our video today. If you feel we've missed a lever action rifle or two, comment down below. Also, please click the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.